So on this week's episode of Pimp My Train, we're gonna be taking the Micromark four step weathering process here and applying it to this locomotive. Already I've showed you guys how I've made the front and rear bumpers look more like wood versus plastic. And the locomotive's coming along pretty well, but I figure there's some more stuff that needs some help. So let's dive in. So before I go any further, this is the Micromark four step weathering process. I purchased it for myself a long time ago and actually found it to be pretty easy to use once I figured it out. When I initially went to use it, I didn't shake anything up and had bad results and kind of said, ah, the heck with it. Threw it in the corner and forgot about it for like a year and a half and then decided to work on it again. It's actually a really simple process. The way it works is you start out with a rust wash, then you come along with a black wash that kind of brings out the details. Then you use their flat clear to seal everything and then you apply dust over the top and then I'd recommend at that point taking a can of clear flat or something like that and just lightly dusting the model so that way the dust actually sticks on there. Now do you know when you do spray the fixative on top of the dust it does kind of tend to tone it down so you almost want to have to do a little more than you think you need and then come back and coat it and you probably should be good or you can just do a couple of lighter coats, whatever works best for you. So let me shake up part one, which is the rust, and get started. Okay, so what I've done is I've removed the little spark arrestor on here. This is an oil-fired locomotive, so that isn't necessary. So I'm going to create at a later date a custom smokestack for this, but for the moment, I'm just going to keep what's on there on there. So now that we have this shaken up, pretty much all we are gonna do is we are just gonna carefully brush it over the areas that we wanna have a rusty effect, which is pretty much everything. And yeah, it's um, pretty much that simple. So let's get started. Okay, perfect. So that's coat one on. I'm probably gonna do a couple more coats off camera, then I'll come back and update you guys. Okay, so the reason behind the black is pretty simple. It tones things down a little bit and it helps accentuate the details. Those are both good things. So what we're gonna do is pretty much the same process that we did with the rust. Just smear it on there kind of randomly and let it dry. Perfect. So like before, we're just gonna let this sit and dry and then we can come along with step three, which is the flat when we're ready. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and applied the clear flat. I decided to just keep that part out. It's same as all the other stuff, just brush it on there, let it dry. But I will say I am actually quite impressed with how this locomotive is looking. Between the front pieces being looking like wood to, it doesn't really show up on camera, to kind of the running gear equipment and stuff having a nice rust effect that kind of brings the details out. It's really coming along nicely. I've intentionally tried to keep the locomotive not looking like it's sitting on a siding ready to rust into a million pieces, but I've tried to give it some of an aged and well-used look as this 
locomotive is probably going to be hauling a lot of different stuff on different railways and I kind of like that older look. Brings out some of the character, if you will. So now I'm gonna let this dry. I probably won't have time to get to this before my accounting class tonight. But when I get back later, we can apply the dust and then we can apply some spray sealant over everything and call it done. Okay, so I've now had time to come along and apply part four, which is the dust component. Now with this, we definitely want to be careful where we apply it for both visual and obvious reasons. It could be slightly abrasive on moving components, so just keep that in mind. But I'm just going to come along and dust it on areas that I feel would definitely have a little bit of dust on them. And then what I'll do is off camera just spray them all down with a little bit of flat sealer. It should be good. So let's get started. So those are some of the steps that I've used to weather this Bachman 042 locomotive. And like I said, I bought the rust and dust a long time ago, and I actually think it's a very effective piece of equipment to have, especially for the price. Do note that because the um, washes contain alcohol, you cannot have it shipped via express. It has to be ground only, just something to keep in mind. But as a weathering setup, it's actually quite nice considering everything is set out for you and I quite enjoy using it now that I've figured it out. So I'll leave you guys with some side-by-side -side comparison photos of this guy versus a stock one. I think you'll be pretty impressed with the results that I was able to achieve over the last few episodes of Pimp My Train. Stick around guys, I got some more sweet stuff in mind. <laughs> 